Hello everyone. Uh, my guest from the setup here, you can already guess what's coming and also from the title. Um, well, I have been thinking about starting a journal for quite a while and I have several reasons for that but I will come to that in the next video I think. Um, for now I will show you my supplies basically. So it will be a K-pop journal, not completely K-pop. Um, there will be K-pop elements in it a lot, I guess. Um, but I will also include other hobbies of mine, like cooking, cats, and gaming. Uh, yeah. So I will start with the with the supplies for now. So this is my journal. Um, Kreta gave it to me a long, long time ago, and. She gave us three books, I think, or maybe four, I'm not sure. Maren used two of them and I still have this one and I really wanted to use it for a while, so now I have a reason to use it. It's got blank pages, no dots here, which is kind of frustrating, but I have two papers. Um, one is... what's that called? Squared? No idea. And one is lined. And I can put these behind, especially um, this one is quite strong, so you can see it through. I'm not sure if it'll pick up on camera, but this one gives me guidelines, so that's very useful. Uh, the journal has a lot of pages, a lot, a lot, a lot, and they seem quite thick. I haven't tried out all the pens I want to use, and I will find out if they bleed through or not. It's just a regular spiral bind, so if I mess up, I can maybe rip out a page, which is good too. Yeah, and now I will come to all the other things. So besides the journal, I um, have a lot of supplies. One of them is a ruler, which is the most boring thing in the pile, I think. But it has inches and centimeters, and I think that's quite useful because I know some measurements from things I will use in inches, some in centimeters, so this is very important. Scissors, which I will probably need quite frequently. Then I have a lot of pens that I will write with. These are the Pilot Zebra Sarasa clip pens in 0.5 and I have a black one. I have a Baskin Robbins light blue colored one with my little twin star on it. A Baskin Robbins red colored one with my little twin star on it. A gray one and a white one. I also have a really small friction slim, I think it's 0.38, so it's really really slim writing and you can erase it. This one's dark blue. Uh, then I have a few brush pens or calligraphy pens. These are all from Miniso, the Miniso aquarelle brushes and I don't think the colors have any names but I have this very very light violet shade a blue one and a green one, and the green one is kind of dark, so that's nice. The blue is also very bright on paper. And then I have these calligraphy pens, which have like a, a brushy kind of side and a small side, um, a fine tip, that's what it's called. I don't speak the lingo yet, you guys. Uh, and they came in a set of four. Not all of them are colors I like. One's orange, not my color, but it picks up really nice on paper, so I will use these a lot, I think. And those are all the pens I have prepared for now. I will occasionally use other pens because Maren and I have an endless supply of pens, pencils, and everything else crafting related. So let me show you what else I got. Besides all those things, I also have stickers. This is a set of cacti stickers from Daiso, which was really cheap and it has a lot of stickers, 60 of them. Of course, Cacao Friend stickers, they cannot be missing from this. These are really nice because they have really big ones and then they have small emojis that you can also... These are real emojis from the from the um, Katok app. Ryan stickers which are very important, in my opinion, and they also give you so many options for his mood. These are some washi stickers, which are really pretty. And then these Polaroid decoration stickers, and these um, 
planner stickers, I think they are, which will go great in the journal because they are very simple and they give you some kind of accent if you put them in there, like a little speech bubble, just something like that. So I like those and I will hopefully use them. Little hearts. Yeah, penguins, polar foxes, whales and polar bears. So these are great for winter. Some more, well, I guess emojis you could say with little animals. More small stickers. This is a sticker set I got a long, long time ago and I, you can see how little I used of these. Those were for planning mostly, but I'm not, I'm, I'm really bad at using my planner. So yeah, I still have a lot of those left. And then these, which are, this is my favorite character, you could say. It's my little friend. I have a ton more of these stickers somewhere, some in my planner, some, you know, somewhere in the apartment. But I will use these definitely because I love this character and this character will definitely up my journal by at least five style points. I should make a scale. That's it for the stickers I have planned. I do have some BTS stickers which will go in there and then of course some K-pop pictures that I will still find. I only want to use official pictures though. I don't want to steal from fan sites. I mean I might ask one or two of my favorite fan sites if I could use theirs in my personal journal but since it's not really that personal if I put it online and lastly, I will use washi tape. You guys don't know, but we have a problem. Uh, we have a really big washi tape obsession, I would call it. So we have a big washi tape collection, but washi tape is nothing you should collect. You should use it. So I chose around, I don't know how many those are, maybe 30 rolls of washi tape to use in my journal. But I have an endless supply, you know, so I might switch these up depending on what kind of page I want to do. So I have some different kinds of washi tape. These are all really um, slim ones, so they will fill some spaces. I'm not good at drawing lines, so these will do the job for me, mostly. Then I have um, some floral print ones and some pineapples, some more leaves so these are all kind of natural in style so i could use these on layouts together some space inspired washi which we got in korea this year some cacti the watercolors and then this little roll with lots and lots and lots of tiny washies which all go together great because they are all pastel y kind of and then this definitely 17 kind of washi with diamonds on it. You will see most of these in detail eventually in the journal, I hope. And then of course the super nice silver metallic washi thing, which I will use. I do have glitter washi somewhere, but that's really bulky and I don't want to bulk up the journal because then it'll be hard to close. And, and you know, the spiral binds are not that sturdy, so uh, that might rip it apart somehow. Yeah, and that's that. Uh, those are all my supplies that I picked out from our big, big stash. Uh, if you have any more suggestions on what to use, we might find it around the house. Please leave them in the comments down below. And I will show you my journal setup next time. And yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you're gonna watch me do this because I have a lot of reasons for this journal. You will see them in the next video. And I'm excited to start this. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you want to see more, so please head over to our channel and subscribe. We're also doing beauty related stuff and more crafting. You might like what you see there. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye!